Ryan already. They keep flexing through like the whole draft until like the last pick, and it's like one of the most intelligent drafts that you can do probably on this patch right now. It's also a very well done. Just gets a little bit more forward, gets a little bit more cocky, but Jankos is going to go in anyway. The price seeker, the flash, the umbaro, it's all there. And one more order will get it done. First blood to Ryu. Really? As well, hoping a safer pick in this lane will give him an easier passage. But look at this Ring of Frost coming out as well. He flashes the cleaver. He may not be able to get away yet, though. Of course, the slow got to be coming into effect. And there's the cleaver hitting Oduwamne, just struggling to get away from this one. He does not able to pop the junk shield. Moving forward, Ares, though, will just continue to chunk him down. And it's one on one. Successful game. A bit of help from Key. We have seen next to no prioritization on Jacob just because you don't want to swap anything for it but only the support's time being swapped for it and fairly free dragon so you'll take it even at nine here as well and no one scratching his head a little bit about this one he's gonna throw an equalizer down probably just a white cleaver but he's caught by the shadow dash Ares gets the cleaver in as well and no one he's dead to rights three have a player surround him and take him out and look at this Dan United towards the top lane as well crazy what's gonna happen here key going forward Jankos gets frozen tombs but there key pushing forward for Gibbons there Vander you see key just at the front but the rest of his team was not the H2K Trademark, they're gonna keep pushing in aggressively. Crazy still has ultimate. Very aggressive stuff. You have the pulverize coming out from Vanna, the tower beating down on them, and that's a frozen two for Crazy. He's gonna keep himself alive and flash under that turret. Perfect stuff from him, avoiding that dive. And a fair bit of damage. And in the meantime, Loken beating away at this top outer turret in the mid. A fight gonna go down here. Athena is caught as well. The headbutt back towards the tower. Athena getting hit by those shots. There's too much damage for him to deal with. He's just a Varus. And now Key gonna get knocked up by Yankos. He's pushing forward. The Umbarrow has been out of yield. And in the Castle Cup. Gonna be that second dragon now being taken away by ESC. They were uh, visible to H2. But Ares keeping in step with him and Crazy's already gone so darn deep. It was a ring of frost and there's a frozen two towards Jankos. They've got the pick. ESC want to follow up on this one. Loken went quite low there to Ryu doing damage to him on the side. And they trade the 1v1. Key went down. Crazy backing away there as well. Ares up at the front. I don't really know if ever we're going to find too much more here. The one for one for now. And these teams now just skirmishing a little bit back and forth in me. That's the culling coming out. Forgive me, wants to spread some damage. Oh, look at that one. Oh, do I'm nice corp. In games where 90 minutes is the first dragon that's taken. Yanko's thinking about contesting. Remember, this against Callista. So really, chunk one person out, take a turret, rinse and repeat. Ever catches Jankos. Jankos void rushes straight away, goes into that one. He didn't know what he was going to be going towards, but Loken's going to be there to meet him on the other side of the wall. And Jankos gets picked off there as well. And ESC going to be happy to force the 5v4. Fishy is afoot, but right now seems pretty straightforward. Straight down the mid, Loken there. Going to be faint cool. Ryu's going to have to flash away from that one as well. But he got caught by the Ring of Frost on the side. Brilliant stuff. Crazy came in for the pincer maneuver. Vander popping his off very, very early on there as well. Crazy forced to flash away. And Stan United will keep him alive for now as well, but this fight may well swing down through here as well. They didn't hear about a turret does fall, and what, at what point do H2K have to respond to this? It's ESC getting aggressive. They're pushing them back right now. Oda one may already down to about half health, and then Inhibitor is down. An Inhibitor. They've got four dragons in just a second. It's all academic in that regard. In a situation where there's just no engage to get on top of him. Speaking of engage... He's been called in, and he's going to knock up Vander. And again, Crazy always coming in from the periphery. Manages to add some CC in there. But there goes Vander. He's going to be able to get the head Headbutt forward there. Key's in the middle of the mix there. Fandu's going to drop down. It's a, a single kill for Loken there as well. Oda Wamne trying to push in and get rid of that AD carry, but a bit of heal coming out and a double kill coming out for Loken now as well. Somehow, now they're getting aggressive and now they're pushing forward. Yeah, they might even be looking for the finish. Poetry in motion was that team fight from ever. How did Loken have the fast beat to stay alive? Eris, nope, not taking any damage from turret. Think late game Mundo's been achieved. And maybe they won't finish the game quite now, but with the death timers, might be time. Look at the pressure they're putting on towards these Nexus turrets. It looks like they don't want to be stopped here. And Yankos again, got to get slowed up. It was a taunt towards Forgiven. Oh, everybody's falling. It's a bloodbath for never. They put their name all over this one. They will take down the Nexus. And game one goes to our Koreans. A strong showing in their first game of IEM Cologne. I think myself and a lot of analysts were just wondering, is this the ever we saw at the Kesper Cup? Was it a flash in the pan? Okay.